and this is Justin's. Justin's right here. And I'm actually standing with Justin. This is the guy behind the company and I have I've had the pleasure of following this company for years now because I was very interested in it because you guys came out with an organic peanut butter cup that I had been dreaming of for years. And it was like absolutely delicious. I was like, yeah, this is the kind. This is what a peanut butter cup is well, supposed to taste like. And, and it blew my mind because I, I, I shop a lot of natural and organic food stores and I really wanted a peanut butter cup and no one was delivering an organic peanut butter cup with a, an experience that we're all used to. Two cups in a package, no one was delivering it, and it frustrated me to no end, so I had no choice but to do it myself. I was already making peanut butter, I knew I could make the filling, found a world-class chocolatier, started making peanut butter cups, and now they're just being, they're sold everywhere. And after a few years, I realized that the only problem with the peanut butter cups, and once you open them, you're committed to eating both of them. So we wanted to do something that was a little more snackable, a permissible indulgence. So each cup is 70 calories, 100% organic, Rainforest Alliance chocolate. So if we're gonna have a candy product, let's make it the best. Well, and the single, the single cup packages as a dietitian. Right. You know, I mean, I want pe I, I don't want to keep people from having candy. You know, that's what they think about us, which is like so frustrating. It's like I'm not about saying no, 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 no. I'm about quality number one, and I can't recommend anything less than organic. I'm sorry. I agree. You know, and if I'm going to heal people, I'm not going to put poison in them and all these chemicals. It's just not a positive. It's a negative towards healing and health. And, you know, who doesn't love peanut butter? Who doesn't love chocolate? And when I when I tried your first uh, peanut butter cup, I was just thrilled. And the, and then later, you you know, you blew me away again with your, your little single serve packets of peanut butter. Right. That were for moms. I mean, moms looking for healthy snacks for their kids. Or I used to be the soccer mom, you know, <laughs> and you had to bring, as in my kids, if it, I see all these things, I'm like, no, I'm not bringing that. I'm not feeding that to other kids. And then you came with something that was like perfect for bringing for all kinds of things, yeah, for it's, snacks and... It's become a lot. It has, it's had a, a life of its own. There's, there's single serving peanut butter and almond butter squeeze packs that you can use for, you know, protein on the go that's portable, portion control, snacking, all these great things that I never really even thought about. It's also a trowel size for say something new like a chocolate hazelnut butter or a vanilla almond butter. And, and just so we're really clear. The one thing that I'm focusing on now, so I think the next innovation for the company. Oh yeah, let's hear what's up next. <laughs> well, we have these great products. Yeah. You know, you take organic ingredients and you put it into a package that comes from oil and goes into a landfill. So how can we create a sustainable solution to greener packaging that we can keep out of landfills? And we're doing a lot of work towards greening up our packaging and that's going to be the next innovation for everything that we do. Well, and it, the, the thing that a lot of people may not realize is what drives the creation of that kind of packaging is people like you. <laughs> because, you know, there, there's, if there's not someone that's demanding it, then it doesn't push the, cr the creating of that type of packaging. People just keep going the status quo. Right. But when you come along and you say, hey, I want to challenge us to come up with a better packaging that we can throw into it, because I compost and all And companies aren't stuff. working on it, I can't believe it. It's, it's, we were at a natural product expo, and there's very little talk about sustainable packaging, you know? And I, GMO and, and organic, and I, I get all of that, but we still take our trash and bury it. It's very archaic, it's, an, it's a broken system. Well, yeah, and, and the thing is, the reason that a lot of people don't, and as a someone that's been eating organic for longer than I want to admit, and that's why what I saw when you came out, because I've been shopping at health food stores for a long time, okay, and when I saw that, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, that someone actually did it. And um, what happened, it's almost like a, you go through different levels of awareness. And when you start to get educated on, first of all, there's so many people that are in that pre-contemplation phase that haven't even really thought about organic or why they should be eating it. Then they kind of get into contemplation and they're like, oh yeah, I'm starting to hear about it. Maybe I should try that. And then they get into the action phase where they actually start eating it. 
And then you, then you kind of go into this other higher level. Oh, how can we do this even better? Mm. And that's really what you're doing, you know, you because you're one of those kind of people that just keeps thinking about how can I do it better? What new thing can I create? You just can't stop it, you know, right. it's well, like you're a creative person. <laughs> and also, like for, for any young company, the first five to ten years are survival. Oh, yeah, right? I saw it in your face. Too. And so I, how do we just get into grocery stores? How do we get consumers to love it? And once you have, once you've kind of survived, now it's okay, what is our responsibility to the consumer and our environment to do things even better? You know, and, and, and you know, I don't think you should do whatever it takes to get there, but we've done the best that we can. Now we can be better. Well, and, you know, like I said, I remember when you were first starting off, and it's been great following your career. But one of the things I learned, because I like to think that I, I kind of see, you know, people how they are. And one of the things I actually liked about you is the seriousness that, that you had. Um, because I said, I thought, that guy is like really serious because he cares about his business and he wants to succeed. And and then this this year is like I can just see in your face that you're actually having fun now. You're enjoying your company. You kind of got to a level where you're like a little bit comfortable now. I agree. You feel like yeah, you're yeah. success. And you're able I see you interacting with the kids and these, you know, these giant <laughs> better cut packages here. And, you know, that makes me, it actually makes me happy because um, I want, that's the reason I'm starting a database where I'm bringing together the real, true, organic companies, family-owned companies, uh, because those are the people we need to support. Those are the people that have their heart in it. And that's what I always saw in you, that you had your heart in it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be that serious about making it happen. Right. It, it's, I, it's a borderline. I think really successful entrepreneurs are obsessed Right. and passionate and, exactly. and they're kind of one and the same right you know and you had you had all those things and I bet that guy's gonna make it I know he's oh, gonna make thank it you. <laughs> so I just want to congratulate you thank you so and much. I'll be looking for that packaging okay <laughs> deal all right, just, <laughs> okay I want to see that challenge fulfilled all right we'll be on to our next booth now